Rocky Mountains on the outskirts of Colorado Springs, home to some of our nation's best and brightest at the United States Air Force Academy. And when they're not learning to fly, they're getting ready for battles on the gridiron. We believe we've got a great one in store today. And we've got a team that makes it into the top 25. Now when you go on the road, that's when you prove you belong. Just into the end zone, and he'll bring it out. Stopped at the 26, brought it out in the end zone, picked up an extra yard. And now we'll get a look at this offense for the first time today. And there he is. When you build a tight end, you build one just like this, especially with those reliable mitts, Jesse. Yeah, Reese, he makes big plays in big games. Watch for him on third down in the red zone. He has a chance to leave an impact in this game. Well, it's so nice to have such a big body that when he's covered, he's open, right? Like, it doesn't matter because he's got great hands and that big frame you can really utilize. I love the play call. First play of the game, there's no mystery. We're going to get one of our best players the football right now and let you know about it. Awesome job. That's the way to start a drive, and now they'll try to follow up on first and ten. And the pass hits! Picked off! Didn't get a ton on the return, but the most important thing, he got the ball, and they've got it at the 48. So now the offense is going to have to regroup. A turnover on the first drive of the game can bruise that confidence a little bit. No doubt about it. It's so hard as an offense to create any momentum and get any confidence early when you turn it over at this juncture in the game. You're just trying to kind of feel out this defense, and you're formating them, and you're trying different play calls to set things up for later. But when you turn it over on the first drive, it's hard to get that momentum started. Brought down at the 38. It's a pickup of 10 and a first down. This offense has to get this guy the ball in as many ways as possible. He showed you all of his tools on that last play. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. On the option, he'll keep it himself. He'll pitch it. Strikes first, delivers the punch, and works his way to the 31. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Six-yard pickup on first down, leaves him with second and four. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. The defensive front had that one smelled out from the beginning, and the fullback went fully backward. Nowhere to go. That's a quick-hitting play, too. You get the ball to the fullback, you're trying to get him downhill to hit somebody fast. Nowhere to go. Here on third down for this offense. On the option. Kept it on the ground on third down. Picked up five yards, but it will still be fourth and one. Oh, and I love it. They give the ball to the fullback. You don't even see him in the game all the time, but when he is, it's always unselfish, pounding people. I love when you toss him a little, toss him a little love and give him the rock. You ever wish you'd played fullback instead? No. You would have been a great fullback, great H-back. Just hit people, hit people, hit them again, hit them again. Now nah, I'm good. I'll go get the quarterback. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. First down here for the offense. From the shotgun, the inside give. Get him on the ground after a four-yard run out to the 31. Nice run there on first down. You know this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. Oh, 
He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Wide open downfield. Oh, look out. There he goes. All the way in for the touchdown. Touchdown. And what did I start for this offense? The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the PAT makes it 7-0. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. The kickoff team out there getting set. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Air Force has it back, and the Falcon offense returns to the field. Gets it past the marker. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. And here we go. If you're an offense, you've got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance, and then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. Yeah, exactly. And coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least establish a semblance of a running game for exactly what you just said. You've got to be able to use play-action pass later in this game to get some explosive plays down the field. And it's a play like that that we just saw, which can help them get that going. Just had a solid pickup on first. Now let's see what they've got on second down. Now on the option. And they'll spot it at the 45. That's good enough for a first down. Those fullbacks are grown men. Those guys are constantly hitting linebackers and blocking the whole entire game. So when you get a chance to give the big boy the ball, it's always, and you know what it is? It's a morale boost for everybody on the whole field. Everybody gets jacked up, and he finally gets to touch the football. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. Power football with the run. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. And now on second down for this offense. He'll ride his man on the option. A strong tackle and wrap-up from the junior. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Yeah, and that's a really good job by the defense because when you get in that third and medium area, listen, you got to be worried about the run and the pass. Did a good job playing both. Got it stopped. Now forcing a fourth down. And the Falcons decide to punt it away. He ought to be able to use this first punt to pin him deep. Boy, they had a chance to track that thing down, but it bounces into the end zone for a touchback. One final play before the end of the quarter. They'll give it to the back. They make the stop, and that'll bring the first quarter to a close. Swapped into the field, and we'll get it going in the second. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. Give to the running back. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. You know, they pride themselves on being physical at the point of attack, dominating at the line of scrimmage. Nice job there picking up the first down. 
They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Catch in the middle. It's Allen. Nothing but green ahead. The 10. He's got it, and he goes into the end zone for the touchdown. That touchdown gives his team a pretty significant lead at this point. And that's what you want. You want to start fast. You want everything to come out, start clicking, make some plays. It doesn't always work that way, but when you do, man, the energy, the crowd, everybody's into it. Now the other team better respond. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point makes it 14 0. Quick strike offense on that three play scoring drive. And they finish things off with a big play 68 yards on the touchdown pass. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Here comes the Air Force offense back onto the field. Now we'll get a chance to see if they can answer that last score, trailing by 14, Jesse. Yeah, and at this point in the game, I feel like offensively, you should go back to what's been working for you in this game. Don't be afraid to dial up plays that you've already had success with, running it and throwing it. It's okay to repeat plays down 14 at this point. And I would also say, Palmer, kind of understanding that my defense is not playing great, so I know offensively, I gotta put some good possessions together here, make something happen on this side of the football. They'll leave it with him. And he won't quite get there, but boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first, an array of possibilities here. You gotta think they'll try to muscle their way forward on third and short from the 29. Goes to the option. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. I'll tell you guys, this fullback, he's not just a blocker. He can catch the football, and he can also run it, especially on third down. What a weapon. The Falcons have it with a first and ten. Hand off to the fullback. Second down. The back goes in motion. To the ground with the back. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. Fullbacks, a.k.a. blocking backs, a.k.a. don't touch the football very often and usually don't go far down the field. But a nice, nice little chunk run here for the, for the fullback. Give him the ball, reward the big fella. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. They'll run the option. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. Sometimes you try to fool the defense with the fullback. Not fooled there. Well, you better block for it. Goodness gracious, that's supposed to be a quick hitter. Get me a few short yards, and there was nowhere to hit it. They guess got hit in the backfield and brought the big fella down quickly. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. They'll get it out to about the 20-yard line, and that's where they'll mark him down. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. He'll start this drive firing. Got a man. It's Matthews. That's about as close as you can get to that marker, and it will be second and just a few breaths away from the first down. Less than a yard to go to pick up the first down. He's back to throw on second down. Finds the tight end. At midfield, he's got room! Clock will stop with this timeout from the offense. They'll get a chance to regroup on the sideline. 
Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. They have a first down at the 41-yard line. He's going to pass. Finds his man. It's Matthews. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And as a defense, how scary is it having to defend this guy? He's one of the fastest players in America, and you saw it on that last play. It's not necessarily throwing him the ball over your head. They just get it to him quickly. The hard part now is running and tackling that guy. Not easy to do. They've marched to the red zone, and here they go. Finds his target down the middle. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. How nice is it in this offense to have your best receiver playing in the slot? You're matching him up against linebackers, against safeties, or nickel corners. Nickel corners are oftentimes the defense's third best cornerback. This guy is virtually uncoverable. He'll just keep slinging it. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. They were able to get the ball to the running back in space, but that space just evaporated. And a great job by the defense, man. It's tough to get those guys on the ground. They're so used to being having the football as running backs and making plays and being dynamic. So usually one guy not going to get into the ground. You want many guys swarming to the football trying to get that elusive guy on the ground. Out of the shotgun on third down. Nice throw, great catch, easy glide into the end zone for the touchdown. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point is true, and the lead balloons to 21. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finished things off with an eight-yard toss for the score. So they got the touchdown now, going to put it in the hands of their defense to finish off this half. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Air Force has it back, and the Falcon offense returns to the field. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. These guys have taken some body blows in the first half, but now a chance to do something to feel a little better going into halftime. Reese, they got to respond now. They, they, they got to put points on the board right here, cut into this deficit, create a little bit of momentum, because this one's going to get out of hand otherwise. Yeah, there are a lot of offenses out there that might just say, okay, let's just regroup and figure it out. This offense doesn't have time to do that. They've got to be aggressive. They've got to throw it downfield. They've got to score points. Out across the 30, Mark down at the 35 after the 10-yard gain. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Off the deflection, missed a great chance to force the turnover. Instead, it'll be second down. Well, you know what they say, tips lead to picks. So the offense, they're lucky that one wasn't intercepted. Offense gets set for second down. To the air, it's Busha. Just a short pass to the tight end. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Ever since they invented the forward pass, the tight ends have been running the drag and getting the first down. I think it's because the tight ends is so much versatility. You know, they can block and stay in the formation or they can release and come out. But either way, if the quarterback's patient, most of the time, that drag route's going to come up. That is a tremendous job by the defender on that play because when the ball was thrown, his head was turned around. He was watching the receiver, quickly spun the head, turned his shoulder, located the ball, and then knocked it down. Here they come on second and 10 from the 47 after the incompletion. 
Couldn't connect on first down. Now back to the air. Makes the grab. They're ripping off chunks of yard. They get it to the 33. The offense wastes no time getting the timeout call. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Comes out throwing on first down. They're bringing heat. And they got him. They'll get him down for the sack. A loss of 13 on the play. Brings up second down. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Man, we wondered all week how this one was going to play out. And through two quarters of ball, the answer is like a good old-fashioned barn burner. And we have to start this halftime breakdown by addressing the play of this elite wide receiver. This is clearly a young man who, once he's finished playing on Saturdays, he's going to be playing on Sundays. The kid has different gears. He has a knack for finding gaps in the defense. And I can't remember a college player with that kind of catch radius. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at Falcon Stadium. We're ready to get it started here in the second half. On the move from inside is five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Here comes the Air Force offense back onto the field. They come into this third quarter with a lot of work they need to get done. Yeah, and it starts with this possession. And, and I'm, I'm going piece by piece. I know this is coach speaking, very simple. I score, I get a stop, I score. I can get back in this game, but it's got to be one drive at a time. It, it's going to have to be, but I think the mindset offensively is we're probably going to have to score every time we get it because our defense has been struggling. They have not been getting a lot of stops. So this is a critical drive here for this offense. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. And this offense is desperate to keep this drive alive, trailing by multiple possessions, and it's getting late. Sticks it in his belly. They thought they could just run it on third and short, but this defense was there to make the stop. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to Number check him out. And the Falcons will bring the punt team onto the field. Not going to risk a return here. Calls for the fair catch and makes it just around the 30-yard line. First down for this offense. He's looking to throw it. Finds his man. He gets those chains moving, gets it out to the 42-yard line. Well, he was licking his chops. As soon as he saw Blitz, he knew some guy was trying to cover him man-to-man. -man. Ain't going to happen. With his skill set, he's one of the best in the country, and that is just way too easy. They'll snap this one from the 42. It's first and 10. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He'll pull it on the read. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. There's an example of the offense taking advantage of all the attention the defense is giving this outstanding running back. Remember, he's one of the best in the game. They're expecting him to get the football. So the quarterback says, you know what? I'll just keep it. No one's keying on me. I'm going to get upfield and find an explosive play. Offense threatening at the 45-yard line on first and 10. And a nice, solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. Listen, that wasn't the greatest run in the world, but it was very successful in making me honor the run. And another thing, every time you run the football, someone gets tackled. There's physicality involved in the game. So I like when offenses commit to the running the football, no matter what the outcome is, because those body blows do add up. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal game. He's taking it at the 40.
Here on third down, will they go back to the running game? From the gun, wants to pass. Fires into traffic, picked off. Oh, he was hoping to make something out of that return, but they'll have it first down at the 39. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. On first down, here comes this offense. Here comes the option. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Tried to pound it on first down, now back to the line. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Third and long from the 42. If they can get some of it, it might give them a chance to go for it on fourth down. Wants to throw. It's Busha. Throws to the wideout. He's got an open man. He gets it to the 31-yard line. A big play for this offense. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. The Falcons with the first and 10. They'll run the option. And they'll wrestle him to the ground after a short game. Ran the ball on first down. Let's see what they do on second. The option look. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. And this offense just has to find a way to convert this third down or else they are really in trouble. Quarterback keeper. And they did not let him get to that first down line. It'll bring up a call here. Well, they try to go quarterback design run on that play, but the defense just not buying it. Nice job, everybody playing downhill and making a tackle close to the line of scrimmage. Facing this double-digit deficit here in the second half, almost a no-brainer to go for it on fourth down. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. Man, oh man, the offensive line probably just swelled up a little bit, relying on them on that type of fourth down play. Oh, and in that kind of situation, if you're the back, there can be no hesitation. You know you can't be dancing around. If you see the crease, you've got to put your foot in the ground and go get it, and he did it right there. Run it with the fullback. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. They go to the ground. Not a lot of daylight there. Let's give him one to the 14. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. This should be the last play of the quarter. On the option and they get him on the ground and that'll probably do it for the third quarter just about ready to go in the fourth and we'll see if any drama can be mustered down by multiple possessions. You can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. He is stopped short, and they'll turn it over on downs. Just a crushing blow at this point in the game. And they decide to go for it. They decide to be aggressive, try to throw the football down the field. Receiver, quarterback, not on the same page. No dice. 
turnover on downs. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. Quarterback on the keeper. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. Ooh, I like that option play. I'd keep running that, too, because it's obvious. The defense right now is really keying in on this running back. That was a big point of emphasis for them all week long in practice, and it's opening up holes now for the quarterback to run. It's first down from back at their own 24-yard line. Handoff from the gun. Finds his way ahead for three out to the 27-yard line. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Out of the gun to give to the back. Get him on the ground after a four-yard run out to the 31. I think you run that play so you stay out of third and long. Third and long is not where an offense ever wants to thrive. Third and medium, hey, I'm good with that. So you run that play to make sure you're set up for a good third down. Trying to move the sticks on third down. A quick completion to the left, looking for the first down. Good tackle there to stop him short of the first down, and now they have to make a call. They didn't quite get that route run deep enough to pick up the first down. Now they've got a fourth and short. And I think everybody at home tends to yell at their television set. Why aren't you getting past the first down marker? Why did you run your route short? Defense did a good job knowing where that was, but now fourth down, offense has to make a decision. Air Force has it back, and the Falcon offense returns to the field. Back to pass, it's Busha. Throws for the tight end. What a snag by the defense. Got some room to run. The 20. Oh, he was hoping for the pick six. Instead, he got it down to the 16-yard line. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. And the offense heads out onto the field to get the drive started. He'll do it himself. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. On the ground, trying to pull the plug on this clock. They make the stop at the two, but he's got enough to give them a first and goal. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. On the doorstep of cashing it in for the offense. He'll keep it himself. And he's into the end zone for a touchdown. Offense gets the job done again. You want to build that cushion as we get deeper into the second half. Man, it makes it easy, doesn't it? You start getting up by a couple possessions, making the offense very predictable on the other side. Great job by the offense extending their lead. They'll try to tack one more on their score. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. They're lining up to boot it away. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Here comes the Air Force offense back onto the field. Well, let's see if this drive goes better than the last one. They were in and out quickly after the quick pick, David. Yeah, first play, 
big mistake, man. Now, let's get this offense in a little bit of a rhythm. Maybe before you open it up again, Palmer, or do you trust him right away? Uh, he seems to me like the guy maybe that just needs to kind of get into the flow of the game. So maybe you get the running game going here and just give him some easy looks to let him get by. Now on first and 10 from the 29. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. He's got his man. This offense has their work cut out for him, man, because the coverage has been so tight. And if you're not throwing to the sideline or you're not getting past the sticks, this defense is going to tackle you inbounds like they just did on that last play and bleed the clock. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game. Now on second down. Back to throw. It's Busha. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. That last incomplete pass has him staring at a third and three. Now the play fake. Fires to the wideout. He's got it. They'll get the first down. It's spotted on the 49. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. And the Falcons are moving quickly down the field. The aerial assault continues. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? And this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong, right? Like, they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't they haven't got it going and never built the momentum. This is, this is one of those days that you learn from, you try to grow from. A lot of things that we're going to show in the film room that people aren't going to like, but hopefully you can learn from it and do better next time. This time he's got it. The offense quickly calls timeout to stop the clock. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Passing game, very effective on second down. What about here on third? They'll try to get it through the air. Got his man. Oh, it's loose. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. Defensive coordinators always preach swatting and batting at the football and trying to punch it out, trying to dislodge the ball from the ball carrier, and boy, they did it right there. Here comes the offense onto the field again. Movement here from the tight end. The give to the back. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. And this is exactly where you want to be as an offensive coordinator. Like when you've got the lead late in the football game, just run the football, eat the clock. Man, they put a good day together. They, they, they've had a they've had their way with this defense. A lot of positive things to point to. This is one of those weeks when you watch tape, it's gonna be really fun to watch it. Not like when you get beat up. A lot of big plays from this offense. The give is a work on that clock. Make the stop at the 40, but it's a 10-yard gain and a fresh set of downs. The offense uses a timeout to stop the clock, and they'll get a quick breather. They'll put it in play from the 40 on first and 10. Here's the handoff. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. And the defense is still fighting. They, they haven't had the day that they dreamed of. You know, talking to the coaches coming to the game, like they thought they had a good plan. They'd be ready to attack and, and, and limit some of the damage this offense has done. They haven't done it today, though. they got to go back to the drawing board and figure some things out because this wasn't a great day. He'll pull it on the read. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. 